Crews were still working this week to repair a retaining wall on I-295 in Belmar. The wall on 295 at Essex Avenue collapsed last week. It is part of a brand new road project that cost $900 million. Legislators in Trenton are calling for hearings on how this happened. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. April is Donate Life Month, a way to encourage people to become organ donors. In New Jersey, there is an enormous need. Jersey Matters, Kimberly Kravitz introduces us to a woman now who is in desperate need of help. Kimberly. Larry, what could be more important than the gift of life? We met with a New Jersey woman who's been looking for a match for a kidney donor so far unsuccessfully. And then we paid her a visit to get a sense of just what she's been going through. I pray every day, every day. I'm like, I want this to just be over already. Deborah went in for her first kidney transplant back in 1983 with her sister being a match. But unfortunately now, another issue stands in Deborah's way. In 2017, I needed uh, a, a bypass surgery, so I needed an angiogram, and the dye that they put in me is very toxic to the kidney, and that pretty much ended the life of my kidney. And ever since then, I've been searching for a donor. I, you know, I just, wherever I can, you know, turn. I had people volunteer to get tested, but nobody was a match. But then a miracle happened. Deborah linked up with a woman who is doing God's work, Donna Tassad. I am advocating for 10 people right now, and I feel very good about it because we are going to have some transplants this year. Donna, a resident of New Jersey, helped save her brother-in-law's life after finding him a match for a kidney. And from there, she went on to help many others. I really take on whoever gets in touch with me as long as my time permits. But my goal right now is to get kidneys for the people that I'm advocating for, um, one being Deborah. In the meantime, Deborah does her dialysis each day from home. My husband does the dialysis for me. Not only does he work 100 hours a day at his you know, office, but then he has to come home and, and take care of me and never complains, never. If anything, he, he soothes me down. She's immunosuppressed. She couldn't survive COVID. Sorry. As difficult as this is for her, I'm thrilled that we're doing it here so that it makes it easier for her. And believe me, it's no easy task. We asked Deborah to come up and show us the process and it was too hard for her to even go up the stairs. So Alan showed us the process start to finish. So start to finish, it's about four hours and it's four times a week. These are the needles that I have to put into her arm that allow the, everything to flow through. And it all goes through this. This cartridge goes in here. Each of these bags gets connected to this and then this gets connected to this bottom one so that everything can flow through and drain so that when we're done, um, all these bags are empty. So these are all of the various supplies, the cartridges, those heater lines, the waste lines, the needles, I have syringes in here, I have gloves, I have gauze, all the things that I need to do the, the treatment. You know, there are many people who last a long time on dialysis, um, but I don't know if that's in my cards. I don't know if I'm that person that's gonna be on dialysis for 20 years. I don't know. I don't know, it's a scary thought and I think about it probably nonstop, but I have to keep a very positive attitude that there is somebody out there that's going to help. And I, yeah, it scares me. It absolutely scares me. Deborah is asking for your help. If you or some you know believe you may be a match, you can reach out to Donna at 973-519-3605. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.